Native Hawaiians have a lot to teach us about our limited approach to gender diversity. Dean Hammer and Joe Wilson a couple of years ago produced a feature on exactly that. Now they are releasing a curriculum in connection with their film, A Place in the Middle. Here's a look. Sometimes school says, oh yeah, I have more kane inside than most of the kane. And some kane have more wahine than the wahine. Some people don't accept it. They tease about it. But I wouldn't care at all. Because I myself, uh, other people are themselves. My name is Ho'onani Kamai. I was born in Hawaii 11 years ago, but my ancestors have been here for centuries. They came on big voyaging canoes over thousands of miles of ocean. Despite their isolation, they built up an amazing civilization with its own language and culture and philosophy. Hawaii has changed a lot since then, and many of the old ways have been forgotten. But there are still a few places that are trying to keep the ancient traditions alive. This is one of them, my school. I know it doesn't look like much, but for me, it's a very special place. That's me. And that's our teacher. Cool me. That's the old me before the transition. <laughs> When I was in high school, I had a very rough time. I was teased and tormented for being too girlish. But I found refuge in being Hawaiian, being Kanaka Maoli. My purpose in this lifetime is to pass on the true meaning of aloha, love, honor, and respect. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. This is a cultural icon in Hawaii. Do you guys all understand? Hina is trying to hold on to what is left of Hawaiian culture. To say the word kumu means what? But what does it mean? If you say aloha to anybody, where is it coming from? Your mouth? supposed to be, or don't say the word. When you sing Hawaii Pono'i, what flag do you have on your chest? Hi, Hawaii. We didn't get to sing that stuff in our schools. We had to pledge allegiance to the flag that took over Hawaii. Do you get it? There's a reason you were born in Hawaii or came home to Hawaii. There's some reason. It's divine energy that runs up through the lava. Do you guys get it? You are the warriors of today. Before the coming of foreigners to our islands, we Hawaiians lived in aloha in harmony with the land and with one another. Every person had their role in society, whether male, female, or mahu. Those who embraced both the feminine and masculine traits that are embodied within each and every one of us. Mahu were valued and respected as caretakers healers, and teachers of ancient traditions. We passed on sacred knowledge from one generation to the next through hula, chant, and other forms of wisdom.
When American missionaries arrived in the 1800s, they were shocked and infuriated by these practices and did everything they could to abolish them. They condemned our hula and chant as immoral. They outlawed our language and they imposed their religious strictures across our lands. But we Hawaiians are a steadfast and resilient people. And so, despite 200 years of colonization and repression, we are still here. Aloha e pilanie, 